All right, I'm gonna show you how to set up the Apollo with the, uh, I've got the PPS cup bottom, bottom mount. Uh, so you're gonna want to put, if you're doing a PPS cup on the bottom, you're gonna use this longer one. Um, if you do a top mount, you take this cap off and put it on the bottom. And then you use the little shorter one, but I like it on the bottom. It's kind of tucked away. You're not hitting anything on the top. So to spray, um, I'm going to spray Renner 688 catalyzed 15% and reduced 5% with water. And I'm going to use this uh, B high solids cap. You could probably use a C cap here as well. Um, I kind of like the B high solids for my top coats. <clears throat> so even with 15% catalyst, I'm using the 404 catalyst, which is a thinner catalyst. So it doesn't seem to, probably doesn't thicken it up quite as much as using the, the 1400. So I'm using 404 catalyst, 15%, and a uh, B high solids cap. I have a 1.8 needle and nozzle on this gun. And uh, I've got about you know, 20 ounces of fluid mixed up here. Um, and I did reduce it 5% with just straight uh, water. All right, so you're gonna wanna turn up your dial. I have mine turned up about straight up. It's probably gonna be good. So now I, I'd like to hear from you guys that are watching this. Um, Tell me what you would like to see in future videos. Do you want to see more about spray techniques or products, uh, particularly waterborne products, that's what I spray. And, uh, or would you want to see more equipment like HVLP, air assisted airless, airless. Uh, I do plan to do, you know, some of these, but I would love to hear, especially if you're, if you're new at this, uh, you're a beginner and have um, questions even simple questions. I uh, would love to be able to help you, you know, get get some of these very basic things and, and give you, you know, some, some tips that can put you years ahead of uh, all, you know, just experimenting, try on air. Um, I would love to help you with that. And if you're more advanced and you have tips for me or tips you want to share here with our watchers, uh, please share those in the comments as well. Um, I appreciate you watching. Thank you. And you can see spraying with the uh, the cup gun like this. It's a little slower than with a conventional or like with a you know like an air assisted airless or an airless sprayer. But the beauty of this is when I've just got a couple of these doors to spray, I can mix up a very small amount. Um, easy to clean out the sprayer. You know, basically just pop that off and it's just cleaning that little bit in the gun there, right there, cleaning off my caps, needle and nozzle, and I'm done. Um, so that's what I like about HVLP. I normally don't spray my doors with HVLP unless I'm doing just a couple like this and I want to, you know, do, I have a bunch of white doors to do and I don't want to mix in just a little bit of green paint <clears throat> in my paint system, uh, in my sprayer system, because then, then I got to like, really really clean it to get all the green out again so hope this helps if you're looking how to use hvlp uh, just to recap this was a runner 688 most of the runner top coats can be sprayed just like this uh, look on the tds sheets to, to see how much re, um, catalyst or hardener you need the 688 is probably the higher one it's 15 percent uh, the 851 is another good product that one's catalyzed at 10 percent um, then they make 1K products like the 765 or the 1245 or the 005. <clears throat> Those, you can add like a cross linker to them. Um, you can add catalyst to the 765, but only like 5%. But, um, if you're going to do any kind of 2K, I would go with the 851 or the 688 rather than trying, you know, 765. Use 765 if you want you know, a 1K product cross-linked, that'll, that'll be great for that, or the 1245 or the 005. Okay, thanks for watching.